Hey everybody, welcome back to Daily Entomologist and this video doing some more labeling but we also get to put some more butterflies and uh, complete another drawer because the package I've been waiting on for a while now has finally, finally came in and so we're going to fill that up too. So, first thing uh, agenda on this video is printing out the butterflies I put in the relaxing chamber. As you see, I got one down. That's a checkered white. These are the ones I did before. So let's take a quick look at what other ones I have in here. a couple more whites uh, clouded sulfur uh, skipper a couple hair streaks there and we got a couple blues as well so we got a we got a few in this one this should uh, fill up uh, probably get both of the whites on this one and then the rest of them will go on this other board that I just prepared as well here and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead get these all spread out and then uh, I'll show you the finished result all right so I finally finished uh, the spreading of all the butterflies I had in the relaxing chamber um, went pretty smoothly for the most part. You see I got some checkered whites. There's the colored sulfur, skipper, two hair streaks. Now these two blues here were gave me the most trouble. They didn't want to cooperate very well. And uh, I ended up cutting the strips of paper crooked, so there's like too much space in here. So I had to spread this one up farther when there is more paper to work with. Because this one barely has any paper covering the wings as you can see there. And this one's not in the best shape. Luckily the wings are already like that and it wasn't me. But yeah, so these are the two spreading boards so far. I was going to put another batch in tonight, but I decided not to. I'm going to do it tomorrow night instead. Kind of stagger this stuff out. And probably tonight still might do some uh, more labeling. All right, so I've been waiting for this package for a while now. And they actually just uh, sent the email today that it was shipped. And I just got home and there it was. drawers and one of them is going to be filled up in this video uh, so let's continue on our way all right so this one is going to be designated for my whites uh, with a subfamily Pyrene. 
And I actually got actually got a couple sulfurs I have to add and some whites here. I got some whites on the board there. So I'll make sure I get uh, room and everything. But now I have to make the uh, species label to put in here. And uh, yeah. So I'll be back when I'm finished with that. All right, and I am finished with the Pyrene drawer. So as you can see, I got all these unit trays in this drawer all freed up. So I can start putting bees or beetles or uh, any non-lepidoptera stuff in here, organized and all that type of stuff. So it's awesome I have that freed up. But uh, let's take a look at what I have here. See uh, cabbage whites. Just space there and space there because I know I have some I haven't pinned out yet and I'm sure I'll catch more in new locations this year. Uh, we have uh, mustard white. Got three specimens there from back in Wisconsin. Here we have the marbles, Clodes, Euchloe Olympia, and we have a Euchloe Osinides, a large marble, which is a beautiful species. I like marbles. They're pretty awesome. Up here we have a uh, western white. We have a couple spring whites. We have a checkered whites. And I left plenty of space down here because I know, well, I have four on this drying board right here alone and I know I have more I haven't pinned out yet. I have a great southern white right there that I got down in Texas quite a while ago, 2012 I think. And then here are some uh, orange chips. I really, really want to get more orange tip species, or just more orange tips in general. They're beautiful. But uh, yeah. So that is my drawer of whites. turned out pretty good and I have that one right there and that's gonna be housing uh, some uh, my uh, skippers and I got labels done for a good chunk of them and I got their new labels on them I still have to do labels for the rest and that will probably end up being in the next video more than likely. Yeah, I'll spread it out. And as you can see, I got put some uh, butterflies in the hydrating, relaxing chamber this morning. So tomorrow, I'll spread those out. And that'll probably be in, in another video as well. I actually got a couple uh, white line sphinx that belong with them as well but I'm gonna leave those out for now and do those at a different time uh, so yeah this video is well quite a bit sh shorter um, but we got to fill another drawer of butterflies up so that's good Uh, so, hope you uh, enjoyed it, even though it was a short video. Uh, but uh, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, should have some more awesome butterflies and bee stuff in the next video. So, see you guys next time.